Hi, this is Michael Oral from MobileBurn.com, and today I have with me the Dell Streak. It is a 5-inch Android 2.2 Froyo tablet. It's available now from Dell for $199.99 with a two-year contract. So here's the box for the Dell Streak. This is an AT&T compatible device, but it's uh, not being sold directly by AT&T. Up front and center, we have the Dell Streak itself, a 5-inch tablet. We'll just sit this aside and take a quick look at what's in the box some sort of get quick start guide here and um, I'm not exactly sure what this is everything seems to be in a separate little box up front and center is a pouch there you go drawstring on it warranty information other stuff like that power adapter a power adapter that appears to be wrapped twice Go. And there's a USB connector on the bottom of it. USB on the one side, and this is, I believe, a PDMI connector. I think the Streak's one of the first devices to use it. So you're not going to get any standard um, micro USB or mini USB when you want to charge this device. It means you better hold on to this cable and keep it safe. Plugs in right there on the, I guess, the side or the bottom, depending on how you look at it. And we've got a set of stereo earbud headphones. Decent looking. Uh, and there's the microphone and there's a call send end button on it as well. So here's the streak itself. This is a really massive device. So six inches long by 3.1 inches and not too bad thickness though. It's only a four tenths of an inch thick. Take a look at some of the hardware elements. You see we've got some sensors up there as well as a forward facing VGA resolution camera for um, you know, video calls and chatting and stuff like that got three touch sensitive buttons along the side here back menu and home and notice that they're oriented so as the device would normally be used in a landscape orientation PDMI slot on the left hand edge not much at all to see up on the top three and a half millimeter headphone jack right here right above the volume control there's the uh, power standby button and then the two stage camera shutter button um, Shutter button's really poorly designed. It's very hard to press. You can easily press it halfway to get focus, but um, so I'll show you a little bit later. Really hard to actually take the picture. And nothing along the bottom. Now, on the back of the device, we've got a 5 megapixel camera with a dual LED flash. And the camera is capable of recording HD video, but again, that's not very high quality. If I can pop this off here. you can see that we've got a 1530 milliamp hour battery and a 16 gig pre-installed micro SD memory card so let's power up the device here here's the home screen it's a seven panel home screen system here you can see the little dots showing you where you are we're in the center one right now everything you see these big things right here are just widgets um, called stage widgets by Dell so you can see if we go right here stage widgets and you can see a bunch of different widgets that Dell has added so you can put them in whatever order you want or you don't have to use them at all take a look at some of them uh, pretty cool you know here's the music widget showing a bunch of album covers social media one this one is pulling down uh, Twitter. The main one here just shows you your recent apps, what you would normally see just by long pressing the home button here. You know, So it just shows you recently used apps just so you can get to things quickly. And of course there's local weather. Favorite contacts, it pulls in your starred contacts, auto populates. Here's an email widget, you can see some uh, Gmail messages there. 
And of course, we've got a nice bookmark widget with uh, search embedded right in there. So not bad. I mean, this, the widgets are actually quite nice. If you touch down here, the bottom, it will automatically show you the stage widgets so you can quickly move from one to the next. You can see I have my finger on the music icon here. It shows the music stage widget, home, contacts, email, the web, social networking, everything. It's really kind of cool. So it allows you to quickly move from screen to screen. Of course, this, you know, when you touch down here and you see this little Android thing, it just means it's a regular Android panel. So you can put just about anything in here. Main menu. A little bit different. Notice I can drag it down and there are multiple panels here. Now we pull up the menu button here, you can see there's some settings for it, but not different types of views or anything like that. But still, it's kind of cool, and I, and I like the, the action here. So let's go into those settings. This is just the same normal settings you see in any Android phone at this point. You can see we're running Android 2.2, even though the original streaks ran Android 1.6. Everything looks just like you would find on any random Android powered smartphone. If you don't like any of these stage widgets, you can remove them and replace them with a different stage widget. Um, say the gallery, we haven't seen that one yet. You can see how it's populated with some of the test photos I shot. And you can, of course, just get rid of the stage widgets altogether and make use of all the panels for regular widgets if you so choose. Notice a little bit of lag in the sc scrolling action here. Um, it's not a very responsive device, at least not so far in my experience. And now again, if we touch down at the bottom of the screen, you'll see another Android icon here for this panel. So let's pull up the browser. This is the mobile version of our website. You can see it really doesn't suit the um, high-res large display on the streak very well, so we're going to tap on over to the full PC would like site. I have flash support set to on demand. It makes the browsing experience a lot better. Uh, the scrolling, for example, will track my finger much better with this than when I activate flash for the page. Then all of a sudden, depending on the number of ads and what's going on, it can get to be quite a bit slower. This one's not particularly bad, but you can you can see things are going on here. So let's see if I can find a uh, embedded flash video to show you. And again, flash will be off by default for each page just based on how I have the plugin set to uh, on demand in the browser settings. Okay, so flash is loaded. And you can see um, Things are a little jittery. Let's see. I didn't have any success getting this to run before. Let's see if it works this time. No, it's not working. Take a look at the zooming controls while we're here. You can double tap to zoom, but things don't actually zoom in that tightly. Uh, considering the high resolution and relatively small size, we're only talking five inches here of the display, you really would want to zoom in a lot tighter than that. Go back to the home page and um, a little bit better demonstration of that. You know, that text there is pretty small, even though it's quite readable on a PC, and double tapping in, it's not getting you that much closer. So you're going to have to manually zoom for a lot of pages.
Otherwise, as long as Flash isn't running, uh, the browser works pretty well. 